Okay, so check it out. So Betty is out here ironing. Let's go give her some more work. Oh. My friends, putting on a freshly ironed outfit is like wearing confidence all over your body. You toss it on, walk into the room, maybe do a little side to side, all eyes on you because you're the boss and you know it. But you can only achieve boss status if the iron you're using is clean and not spewing liquid filth everywhere. And so today I'm going to show you how to take your iron from disastrously disgusting to crispy clean. Let's get started. So this video is going to be broken down into two parts. Part one, I'm going to talk about how to clean the inside of the iron. So if you have a lot of mineral buildup or if it's clogged up, that's what the first part's going to be about. In part two, I'm going to go over how to clean the bottom of the iron. So stuff like this when you have a lot of burnt on fabric. So if you don't need to clean the inside of the iron, you just want to know how to clean the bottom, then just fast forward to that part of the video. I'll leave the time that you need to fast forward to down in the video description box. To clean the inside of an iron that's got a lot of mineral buildup or is clogged up altogether, we're going to use vinegar to clean it. Now, vinegar can be hard on the inside of your iron. It is an acid after all, so don't get into the habit of doing this on a regular basis. Instead, do this one time. I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's do this one time. Let's get it clean, get all that buildup out so you don't have to worry about it spewing all over your clothes and staining them up. Let's get it clean this one time, and then from this point forward, make the commitment to use distilled water instead of tap water moving forward, and you won't have this problem again. So here's the process, really, really simple, guys, to get your iron clean. Once it's filled up with vinegar, completely filled up with vinegar, you're going to put you an old towel down on your ironing board, and you're going to iron this towel. And while you're ironing it, you're going to use your spray button. So you got spray. You got steam, you're going to spray and you're going to steam for five to ten minutes until you're completely out of vinegar. And what you're going to notice is the, the mineral buildup is going to start to ooze out of these holes onto your towel. And your towel is going to get really dirty nasty. Now, once you're out of vinegar, if it's still dirty, just repeat the process over and over until it's clean. Depending on how bad your iron is, you might have to do this six times but eventually it will come clean. So spray it with your, your sprayer, steam it, and just iron the towel until it's clean. Now that the inside is clean, let's talk about how to clean the bottom. The way we're gonna clean the bottom of the iron is with salt. Now I'm gonna give you two levels of clean. I'm gonna give you a level one cleaning and I'm gonna give you a level two cleaning. The level one cleaning is gonna be for irons that have maybe just small little burn spots here and there. The level two cleaning is going to be for an iron like this, and we're practically, practic can't even talk, practically the entire bottom here is burnt. For the level one cleaning, what you're going to need is your ironing board and a paper towel. Grab you a tablespoon of salt, so just like that. Pour your salt on the paper towel. Now what you're going to do is you're going to iron the salt gently pressing down on it and the uh, and the salt is going to have like a, a scrubbing effect on those burn marks those burn marks are going to stick to the salt leaving your the bottom of your iron clean so just gently press down and gently iron that salt make sure you don't spray any water or use any kind of steam just plug it up turn it to its highest setting so this is number six and one tablespoon of salt now I will say coarse salt works better than table salt. The coarse salt is basically like little crystals. That works even better than the table salt, but the table salt will work as well if that's all you have. And then just gently press down, iron that salt. Could take five minutes, could take 10 minutes, but if you do this process, You'll, you'll be good to go and your iron will be clean. Now for the level two clean, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna eat my words here, especially if you follow my channel. 
We're gonna mix baking soda and vinegar together. Yay, I can't get away from it. Okay, so baking soda and vinegar mixed together, but we're gonna add toothpaste to it in this mixture. So let's make our mixture. I've got some toothpaste here. This is just some regular Colgate whitening. Let's uh, pour some in here. About like that. Let's take a little bit of baking soda, maybe like two teaspoons here. And let's pour us a little bit of vinegar in there. Now watch the reaction. Okay, now let's mix it up. Okay, now allow me to demonstrate. I got my iron plugged in, it's turned to medium heat. Got a brand new sponge here, we're gonna use this part of the sponge, this green side, to scrub with our mixture. And she's done. To finish off the job, in case you got any of that mixture inside of your little holes here, just fill it up with distilled water, turn it on, maybe spray your steam a few times, the sprayer a few times, and just run it for a couple minutes to clean out anything that might have gotten inside during the cleaning process. The mission accomplished, guys. On a final note, the last thing you want is for your iron to be the cause of stains on your shirts. So, Implement the steps that I've outlined in this video to ensure that you're always looking fresh.